assalamu alaikum students how are you all i hope you all are doing fine so today we will start our next session and before starting the session all of our, uh, we all will recite bismillahir rahmanir rahim All of you have already seen these pictures, and these pictures are of a village. So the topic we were doing is a village. Hmm. So let's have a quick review of the previous session, in which we learned about the village. A village is a small area where there are small houses. and it is located in a farming area river bank hmm i can hear someone saying that a river bank is the land along the river yes you are right farmer i know all of you now know by heart the meaning of a farmer that a farmer is a person who owns or manages a farm or he grows fruits vegetables and crops and he keeps the cattle and i know all of you know about the farmer very well now and last one is the carpenter yes so who will tell me what, who is a carpenter hmm i can hear someone I think someone is trying to say wood. Yes, a carpenter is a person who works with wood. Okay, so today we will learn about the village lifestyle. Few people live in villages. all of you have seen that we live in the city karachi and there are so many people who live in the city but in villages few people live there people in villages travel on cow carts or horse carts so in villages there are not big cars or buses or motor bikes they use these a uh, cow carts or horse carts or bicycles for traveling for transportation the roads in villages are not proper like in karachi we have proper roads we have big roads big bridges but in villages they don't have proper roads they have these mud uh, you all can see that they have these mud roads which are not properly constructed they have only made a area and it is not properly made only few villages have proper electricity gas and water mm i all of you have electricity in your house right you all have gas that means that your mother cooks food on the gas so all of you have gas in your house and i am sure all of you use water as well but in villages they don't have proper electricity or gas or water there are only few villages who have proper electricity gas and water most of the people living in villages do farming so most of the people who live in a village they do the work they do farming most of them are farmers or they grow crops they keep cattle so most of the people do farming in a village people live a calm and peaceful life in a village away from the noise and pollution of the city so the people who live in a village they live a very simple life and a very peaceful one because there are no cars buses so there is no noise in the village so they live a very peaceful life over there and they grow, grow crops over there so they have a lot of greenery 
uh, green plants, trees over there. That's why they have a very peaceful environment over there. Mud houses. People live in mud houses in a village. So the houses in a village, they are made of mud. All of you can see the pictures. So they make mud houses in a village and they live in those houses then. So in a village, they live in mud houses. Okay, so we have already done few professions and we are doing a few more which uh, those professions which we, we find in a village. So, but I'm sure all of you have already done, done these professions and I don't even have to tell you, you will tell me yourself. So who is a blacksmith? Hmm, a person who makes and repairs iron items by hand. Very good. I know all of you know who a blacksmith is. Shoemaker. So who is a shoemaker? What does a shoemaker do? He makes or mends shoes. So the work of a shoemaker is to make shoes. Shopkeeper. I know all of you already know who a shopkeeper is and you all go to the shop. So a shopkeeper is the owner and manager of a shop. Mason. Okay, so a mason is a person skilled in cutting, dressing and laying stone in buildings. So the mason is the person who builds things, who builds uh, buildings, roads and other things. You can see in the picture that the person, the mason is building a brick wall with his hands. Okay, so now your homework is, first we will read the instructions, do this, do this work in your copy. Okay, write the index and date. Your copy work is, fill in the blanks. You have to attempt these four blanks. Okay, you have to do this work in your copy very neatly. Write the date, write the index, use a blue color pencil for the heading and your blanks. Okay, with this, I want all of you to take very good care of yourself. Take care, Allah Hafiz.